This video is to show off this new tool that I've just had delivered uh, from Hartley and Noble, who also make the bath system that I use. Um, and this is a physical version of the um, pour over guide that I uploaded a PDF of a few weeks ago. So the idea is this is a V60, this is one of the plastic ones. It's a V60 pour over, uh, and this is kind of the industry standard as I understand it. Um, but the angle, the, the 60 refers to the angle, which is 60 degrees, which is quite important for how the filters fit. So what Hartley and Noble have made here is a guide to get that angle so you can use this while you're throwing to check. Um, and we've got shrinkage amounts on there, 10 through to 15. So, I mean, obviously you can go part way if yours is 12, you go a fraction below, but that's to make sure, so you can see that line is essentially 0% fits perfectly in the pour over. And then if you throw to any of those lines, um, it will shrink down to that size if you hit the right one for your kite. So I am going to throw something with it and see how I get on. And they have very kindly sent me two so we're doing a giveaway of the second one. But uh, in order to win it, you, this is gonna be an Instagram giveaway because they're primarily on Instagram. So if you're watching this on YouTube and don't have an Instagram account and want to win it, then it might be worth setting one up. But if you're watching this on Instagram, just make sure you're following both me and Nikki and Stuart at Hartley and Noble and um, comment on this post to, to be in with a chance of winning. I throw my pour overs with 550 grams of clay and I essentially throw them uh, as two parts almost. So I throw the base and the cone and split the clay at this point. I leave myself a plate of clay at the bottom. And then this part's a bit like throwing off the hump. But, um, I open the clay all the way to the base at this point. You don't have to, you can leave um, leave that with a solid foot and drill holes later but I prefer to just open it all the way here he's a slightly more technically challenging piece just because you're leaving yourself quite a small base to throw from. And you're going to try and keep what becomes quite a wide and tall cone uh, balanced on a small base. As long as you go relatively slowly and gently, you should be okay. That should be still a bit too narrow, hopefully, but um, getting close to the right height. Yeah. Let's show you so you can see. I'm heading towards the 10%, my clay shrinks 12.5%. So I've got a little way more to go.
going too big doesn't matter, you just don't want to be too small for the filters to fit. So I have gone a little over now, but I know that because once that's all the way in, I'm at the 15%, I'll have overshot by a millimeter or two, and that should be perfect fit for the standard V60 filters. And to sweeten the deal with the giveaway, the way I throw them is I round the foot and then raise it. Um, so I'll throw in one of my foot trimming tools as well to do this part. Around. Smooth that out while it's still flat. And then I use a wooden undercut tool to flare up the edge, which just makes it easier to pick up and gives it a bit more strength in the same way that the rim on a bowl gives it most of its strength. That should uh, stop it warping so much when it, you fire it. It's not necessary, you can avoid that stage, but that's what I do. Get the last little bit of water out. And then finally finish the rim. There you go, that's how I throw my version of the V60 pour over and then because um, I do mine with stamped Peacock Eye and Pebble Designs or Nautilus, um, all of which will be added later. This one will sit until tomorrow and then it will be, I think this one's going to be stamped, but you can add other things to get the texture on the inside. If you didn't want to do that, you could just add slip lines to it but give something to allow the coffee more channels to flow down will make it work better and so yeah comment on instagram below this post for a chance to win one of these and one of these so you can make your own pour overs <laughs>